Tilapia belongs to the class of bony fish and sorts under the family cichlid. While there are many tilapia species, the Nile tilapia is the most common in aquaculture production in Asia, South America and Africa. In Africa, the Nile tilapia is mainly cultured by commercial enterprises. Wild tilapia has an average life expectancy of 10 years and weighs from 2 to 5 kilograms. Tilapia live mainly in fresh water, but are salt tolerant. In the wild, the diet is mainly plankton and plants. Farm tilapia are fed with dry feed based on vegetables such as soy and wheat. In some areas, waste from livestock production is distributed into ponds to stimulate primary production, plankton, algae and other plants. These organisms will in time serve as food for the fish. Optimal temperature for growth is in the range from 25 to 31 degrees Celsius. The fish does not reproduce below 20 degrees and they die below 10 to 11 degrees. Compared to other species, tilapia is tolerant to low oxygen content and high stocking densities. On average, the Nile tilapia mature sexually after four to six months. Females can spawn 500 to 1200 eggs every three to four weeks under good conditions. The males excavate nests at the bottom of the pond and attracts females to fertilise her eggs. Tilapia is a mouth brooder, meaning the female incubates and guards her eggs in her mouth after fertilisation. The eggs are hatched after a few days. Newly hatched five-day fry can swim and eat feed. Depending on temperature and feeding regime, the production cycle of 500 gram tilapia is from five to nine months. Tilapia is produced in ponds, rivers, in rice fields, raceways and cages. In commercial tilapia production, the eggs are collected from the female fish, disinfected and transferred to incubators. For synchronous hatching, it is important that the eggs from the different fish are fertilised approximately simultaneous. This is important for production planning, harvest and sales.